Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Born in Virginia in 1803, John Wesley Minette spent his youth in Ohio before moving to the new state of Mississippi in 1821. He received his medical degree from Transylvania College in 1825 and established a practice in Washington, Mississippi that brought him to increasing renown both as a physician and writer. Manette's fame was due primarily to his early observations on various deadly diseases prevalent in the southern environment. He earned local notice for a broadside published locally in 1833 on the treatment of cholera, but it was for his studies of the occurrence of yellow fever at Washington and Natchez that provided important insights into the disease. His observations on the epidemic yellow fever of Natchez and of the Southwest strongly recommended the use of quarantine to prevent the spread of the disease, and his techniques were credited with enabling Natchez to avoid the worst effects of a great epidemic of 1841. In the mid-1840s, Manette began to indulge an interest in the history of the Mississippi region, an interest that included the flora, fauna, geology, and geography. He was a frequent contributor to Southern periodicals, but his most important work was his massive History of the Discovery and Settlement of the Valley of Mississippi. The first half of Manette's work appeared in 1846, dealing largely with the prehistory of the Mississippi Valley and the early attempts to explore and colonize the region by the three great European powers, England, France, and Spain. He was preparing to extend the scope of his history to include two additional volumes on physical geography, but he died in 1851 at the age of 48 before his work could be completed. Dr. John Wesley Manette was the first physician admitted to the Mississippi Hall of Fame. My name is Elizabeth Dale Holloman Robertson and Dr. John Wesley Manette was my great-great-great-great-grandfather and this has been your Natchez History Minute.